Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video we're going to talk about the tell, don't ask principle. The tell, don't ask principle. What is it, and how it can help you write better Ruby code? That's exactly what we're going to talk about. And if you like Ruby, make sure to subscribe to the channel now by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And what that we do for you is you will get new videos when they come out so you can keep improving and growing your Ruby skills. On to the topic of this video. The topic as I said is tell, don't ask. What's that? It's an object oriented design principle and it helps you write better code. Let me show you how. Let's say that we have this data range class and this data range class has a start date and it also has an end date. And we create one in here and there is a range. Now let's say that we want to find out if a certain date, if a specific date is between this range, is inside the range. So one thing you could do is you could get the range start date and then ask if it's less than the date that we're looking for. So let's say that we're looking for time.now plus 30 seconds. So that will be our target date. To make sure that this in inside the range or data range that we have created there, we need to check that the start date is greater than the target date, right? And that's um, false because I have the logic backwards, I believe. Start date, okay. And then we also need to check that the time is before the end date, right? So we can make sure that it hasn't ended, it hasn't started, but it hasn't ended yet. That's what it means for a range, for a time, for a date to be in the data range. So it is in the data range. And we can also test this with something else that is not in the range. It's false, as you can see there. This is the output of the program. Okay, so what's the problem with this? This is not following the tell don't ask principle. So what does the tell don't ask principle say? Well, it says that you should tell objects what to do and not ask them for information. So let me repeat that. You should tell objects what to do with the data they already have instead of asking for that data so you can do their job. So that's what the tell those don't ask principle says. So why is this not following the tell those don't ask principle? It's not following it because we're asking for data that the class that the object knows. So in this case, that will be the start date and the end date. So how can you make this comply with the tell don't ask principle? Well, what you do is teach the class how to do this operation, the find in range. You can define a method like this, in range, question mark, and the question mark, if you're not familiar with it, we call this a predicate method. Means that it's going to return either true or false. So back to our method definition, we're going to need the target time or date. And then we can pretty much copy this in here. That's our logic. And there we go. Now we can take the range object and we can say in range question mark and pass in our object that we want to check. And of course we get some error. 
So let's see what error we did with the mate. Did you man uh, uh, uh. undefined local variable method range? Oh, of course, because now we are inside the object. The object already knows what the start date and end date are, so we can remove the reference to the object. And there we go. This is false. And if we try again the other, so let's try t1 and t2, t2. It's not very good to use numbers for your variables names. In, in fact, it's a bad idea, but uh, teach us a quick example. We could say in range, maybe to make it more clear, in range, not in range. That would be better than T1 and T2. And this will be 30 seconds. And now we can test that this is in range and that is not in range. As you can see, it's not working. In range is returning false. This this line and this time. And not in range, since it's is past the end of the range, is returning false as it should. So notice the difference here. Now the class knows how to do the work that we want it to do. And we are just telling it, giving it the information it needs, the target date. And then it's going to be able to do the work itself using the data it already has and give us the answer. So we tell the object what to do and what to do is tell us whether this time is in range or not instead of asking for the data and doing the work ourselves, right? And as you can see, this has several benefits. First, the class knows wha what it has to do. It's more cohesive, more self-contained. And you don't have to duplicate this code because imagine that you want to do this range check in various places in your code, right? That's very normal. And every time you have this logic copied all, all over your code and you don't want that, that's duplication. That's no good. Because if you want to change the logic, then you have to find all of the copies of it. But that's one benefit. We reduce, we eliminate duplication of this logic. And the other benefit is that you might notice that when I was writing this, I got the logic wrong. I, I got it backwards. I got, I got the start date and then target. So what that means is that I made a mistake, but if you use the method, there is no way you can make a mistake because the method we already know is working. You can write tests for this method and you know it's working. So you can rely on this method working and not having to remember the correct order, whether the start date goes before the target date or how you put together this logic exactly so it's right. So that's another benefit. So let's review. What we're doing here is called the tell, don't ask principle. You want to tell objects what they have to do instead of asking for the internal data. So you do it yourself. That's the tell, don't ask principle. And it's going to help you write better Ruby code. And the benefits are one, reduces duplication, two, reduces errors. And we could say that testing the ability to test this method is also a benefit. So free, you can test this method on its own. So that's the tell us don't principle. I hope you really found this useful and interesting and that you apply this so you can improve the code quality of your projects. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do it now so you can get more videos like this and give me a like, click the like button so I know that you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next.
Peace.